Today, we're going to walk you through replacing your Benro Magnesium Alloy Flip Lock. This applies to Benro tripods with adjustable flip locks. Your tripod was sent with two tools, a three millimeter Allen wrench and clip tool. The clip tool is usually attached to the leg above the locks. The clip tool has a nut driver built into it, which fits on the flip lock handle or T-bolt. The three millimeter Allen key can also be stored inside the clip tool, so you can have everything handy. To remove the lock, unlock the flip lock handle. Then, loosen and remove the three millimeter Allen bolt, which attaches the top lock to the tube above the lock of the tripod leg. Now loosen the nut using the included clip tool. To remove the top of the lock from the leg tube using a flathead screwdriver or needle nose pliers, wedge open the lock and slide off the tube above the lock. Underneath the top of the lock, there are two black plastic shims. Remove these shims if damaged. Now, as you separate the leg tubes, you will find two white nylon shims. Remove the white shims from the end of the leg tube. Inside the upper tube, you will find a raised edge, which keeps the tripod legs from rotating. We will keep this in mind for later. Slide the damaged flip lock off of the leg tube and replace with your new lock. Match the rectangular protrusions on the white shims with the rectangular holes at the end of the leg tube that the lock is on. While holding the shims in place, insert the tube lock into the tube above the lock. Be sure to align the gap between the white shims with the raised edge we discussed earlier inside the tube above the lock. Please note, the lower tubes may not have raised rails inside. Attach the black shims by using the two square holes on the leg and match them with the square protrusions on the shims. Wedge open the new flip lock as we did when removing the old lock. Slide your new flip lock over the top of the black plastic shims. As you can see, the flip lock does not slide off the tube above it, but it still rotates. Bring the other lock up, line up the lock so they face the same direction, and reinstall the three millimeter Allen bolt. Tighten the Allen bolt just enough so the lock doesn't rotate. With the flip lock in a closed position, adjust the tension of the flip lock nut with the included clip tool. Use quarter turns until the leg no longer slips under weight. Test out this adjustment by putting pressure on the leg. Please note, if the nut on the flip lock handle is too tight, the lock can break when flipped closed. Be sure not to over tighten the flip lock lever nut. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and for more service tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel.